Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Ansel number A4346186. This is their remote pull station. That's the box that it comes in. But everything about this is impressive. Even the, even the box to me is impressive. Here is the remote pull station that's broken down into its component pieces and let's go through them one at a time. Remote pull station, here's the cover obviously. Then you're going to have your block. Now the block looks a bit complicated but you can install this any, you know, with this part going down into your workpiece or of course this way. However, that's going to work for you based on the orientation of what you're doing. 90 degree intervals, you know, however that's going to work. Now this block is going to allow you to install the unit with the roller bearing. It's going to go there and that's obviously going to allow for smooth operation of the cable as it comes through. Then a screw to hold it down so that it will look like that just thread it down when you're all said and done. Uh, so you've got your back plate, you've got your block, you have your roller bearing and your screw. Uh, with that of course you're going to get the pull ring itself and that's the pull ring without its little face plate snapped on. And it's handy to have that disassembled because you need it disassembled to install it. The last two pieces you're going to get is going to be what's called the stop sleeve, a little piece of not sure if it's copper or bronze, but a stop I believe it to be copper. A little stop sleeve. And then of course your brake rod. Now the general sort of overview, the brief overview of the installation instructions of which all of these points are beleaguered in, their, in the link below this video to the manufacturer's page. But you'll have your faceplate, you'll insert your block, however you need it to be installed. You'll obviously install your bearing with the screw. Uh, you will get that apparatus attached down to your electrical box. You will pull your wire through. It's going to obviously come through your pull ring, which will look like that ultimately. You will pull that out, uh, extend it out. Uh, I believe that they specify, yeah, I don't, I don't see that they indeed specify, but it looks to be a couple of inches out past the face. You're going to take your stop sleeve and put it on between a quarter and three eighths from the end of the uh, cable. Crimp that and they've got a very specific crimping tool that they call out there and I'm not sure why they're calling out that specific crimping tool except that it's tested uh, to be the proper tool for doing that. You'll crimp it. Uh, you're going to get your brake rod installed and the brake rod obviously is there to be a very obvious sort of representation of whether or not it's been pulled and when you get that installed you can see that you've got it, an opening on the bottom of this side and then the top of this side so what you'll end up doing is putting that in like this and then rotating the ring um, counterclockwise and that will allow it to of course lock into place and that when you break that when you pull that that brake rod that piece of plastic brake rod is obviously going to break those are of course available as individual packages of 10. Uh, R-102 brake rod would be a part number to search for that. Um, once you have your uh, brake rod installed, you basically just snap on your finish plate. Uh, you do the rest of the work on the other side, the Automan release side where you can tug the cable uh, tight and that's what will draw the pull ring into the face plate. There you go. There's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up uh, a couple of things, a few things. A, all the items that we sell from Ansel and then the product catalog proper, that's handy. And then of course a link to the Ansel website which also can be handy, is certainly handy. If you have any questions on the Ansel, A434618 remote pull station or any other Ansel product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.